Hello, this is Geocrafter here, and today this is Let's Make a Mod, episode 7. And today I'll be, um, I'll be teaching you how to make your own tools, your custom tools. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to the link in the description for Pastebin. You should get a bunch of code. So in the main class, just copy the first one, public static. Just copy it. And then go back to your clips. And then, in the last episode I taught you how to make armor. So... I'm just gonna s do another one called tools. Tool material. I'm gonna paste that. Should, you should get some errors. Enum tool material, tool material name. It's basically like that. Except I'm just gonna, you, just, you don't have to name it like that. Just write tool uranium. Enum helper dot add tool material, tool ID. Basically like that. But it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna do uranium capitals and this I'll go through after leave it actually I'll do it right now go into minecraft source um net the minecraft item enum tool material I should explain everything here first one is harvest level level three diamond yep so if you um, uranium I think it can mine everything in the game even iron, diamond, and gold, and stuff, and redstone, er and every everything like wooden, um, like stone pickaxe. No, wooden pickaxes can't mine iron. Stone can. So just put it at three. The second one is two hundred. It is max uses. The durability of it. Uh, just to t just to show you, I'm gonna make a ten. That will re it will break. And for this one, it has to be like some a number point a number. F has to have a float because it's a floating number, a float number. That's it means like a large number in Java, kind of. So next one is efficiently on proper material. So basically, it's like like stone is fast on stone. Um, no, like stone pickaxe is fast on stone. So I just make it three. Does it really make a difference? And 30 is the enchantability, so I just leave it at 30 always. Okay, so now let's get into items. So you're gonna go to here, and you're gonna copy this. You're gonna copy that. Go back here, and you're gonna. God. There you go. Paste it, and you should get some errors again. The item name, I'm gonna name it Uranium. Axe. I'm gonna make it axe first. New tool class name. Tool class name. I'm gonna name it uranium axe again. Uranium axe. I have to change the ID. It's just one two three. It's one zero two six. Actually no, it's one two two six. No wait, one two three six. There you go. And a tool material name, which is that. The material name, it's tool uranium. Thus, the set localized name, texture name, texture name. I'm gonna make it. Hmm. I should have forgot that there. I'll I'll fix that in the paste bin. And now the texture name um the texture name is gonna be uranium X. Okay, now you should have this. Now I like to keep things organized. That's why I'm gonna create a new package named tutorial mod the tools. Okay, and I'm gonna create a new class. I'm gonna name it Uranium X. Finish. Now I wait. While I'm waiting, go back, go back into this here, and I copy the rest of the code. Okay, and then you're gonna paste that. Pack, change the package. Uranium axe. 
no, not the package. Whoops. Tutorial mod dot tools. The class. Uranium max. Extends item tool. I'll get into that. Class. Uranium max. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into it. Item tool. So you're gonna change the tool into whatever tool you need. Mine's axe. I'm gonna type item axe. Mm, yeah. If you if you're making um a shovel, no, no, a pickaxe. Type in pickaxe. But warning: if you're gonna be t making a shovel, you don't you don't type in shovel. It is item spade. They get import. Mm, wait, is it shovel now? Wait a sec. Hmm. I'll check my code after. But I can, I'm gonna do that first. And the main class, oh yeah, creative tab, I'm just going to leave it at tools. Main class, it's going to be module RPG. Oh, never mind, never mind, that's my mod. That's my mod that I'm working on. Tutorial mod dot, no, yep, mod tutorial mod. Mod tutorial mod. Item, uranium axe, uranium axe. And yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm done basically so now I'm gonna go to here I'm gonna import that screw it I'm just gonna import it import tutorial mod dot tools dot dot star Now that I'm done that, I'm gonna register the block, the item. Game registry dot register item uranium x uranium x. I'm gonna copy the language again. Uranium X, Uranium X, and we're gonna create the recipe. Uranium X, so it's TTT space X space. <coughs> space S space T equals uranium S plus item dot stick and a comma okay there's dot item ID I think dot item ID mm. Do I need an dot ID? I don't think I need it. Yep, I don't need it. Great. Now I'm done decoding. Oh wait, I'm gonna pause recording and I'm gonna find out why this I'm gonna find out the shovel thing. And I'm gonna do all the other tools. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and everything's done. Axe, pickaxe, spade, hoe, sword. And it turns out the spade yeah. It's actually item spade. You have to ma some some of them you just have to manually import it. Place item axe with item spade. Yeah. So I'm done with all of them. Except for the recipes. I don't want I'm lazy. I'll do it after. So I'll do that after and I'll find it in creative tab anyways. So I added all the names. N now all that's left is the texture, so 
go into my modding folder storage minecraft force modding textures I recreate the textures because I don't want to waste time so axe sword hoe pickaxe shovel so yeah and I forgot to rename these. Has to have no spaces because of unlocalized name. I didn't put a space in unlocalized name, so I have to eject the spaces again. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna copy that. Go back into MCP jars. Um, bin items paste. Go back. Microsoft jar close textures items paste and it's at the bottom it oh. just name twice make sure I organize everything again and wait then it's pretty much is at the bottom and then oh yeah it's uranium not amethyst never mind uranium all oh, it's done can go uh, and exit everything now and yeah let's just, let's test the mod now I wait Okay, it's almost done. And this should be done. Yep, single player. Lol. Play selected world. And I wait more. Okay. Wait, am I wearing that? Yeah, I'm wearing it. I'm gonna close it thing to myself all my tools. And you know what? I'm just gonna wear this. Looks awesome, so I'm gonna wear it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into survival. I know it's laggy for your screen. It's laggy for me too. Game mode zero. And I'm gonna test it for you guys. See, it's fast. Oh my god, it's slow. Oh, okay. Okay, reach stone. Oh yeah, remember when I said only ten uses? That's exactly ten <laughs> ten uses. Okay, and then I can use my uranium pickaxe. And it doesn't work well on. Okay, it's laggy. Wait, I'm gonna change. Let's see if I change all the settings already. Yep, I changed all the settings. Change that tiny. Minimum, make it max FPS. And then you get, I'm gonna check it up. See, it's not, it doesn't work good. Only works good on stone. Okay, still laggy. Okay, broke. Because I set my tool to break really fast. I'm gonna change that when this episode ends. Same thing goes as a sword. And hoe, it works. I can't test on the sword right now, so I can't find any people. Actually, I can. I can find some moths, but it's gonna, it's, uh, my screen's really laggy, so I don't want to do it. So, I'll just go up. Oh, I, I found some cows. Let's test it. Remember, there's only 10 uses. It kills really quick because of the efficiency. So, I'll make, give you a sneak peek on my mod, I guess. And my mod... There's this extreme tool called cr um, Crusher, Charged Crusher. It kills the Wither in three or four shots. 
and it kills regular animals in two shots or three but it's really expensive really really expensive yeah so that's a sneak peek and yeah so i guess i'll see you in episode eight so see ya later